So before we get coloring, I just want to go through a few key things to remember. So when we are mixing our color in our mixing bowl, please ensure that we mix up the color for at least three minutes. Just get it to a nice, thick, creamy, almost mother of pearl looking consistency. This will really just help you with the application of the color and just make it really easy for the color to work into the hair. Then the second thing is before doing any color, please ensure that if your client has got any product buildup on her hair, that you do a cleansing shampoo before. At MAC, we have what we call prepare shampoo. It's absolutely a beautiful product to work with. Its pH levels are sitting at an 8.5. So what that does, it really prepares and softens the cuticles before doing any chemical service. I really like to use my prepare shampoo when doing um, a gray coverage, because I find that if you have got somebody who's got very resistant gray, it does tend to soften the hair and prepare the hair for the color. The second thing to remember is when you're working with your MAC concentrates or adding it to any tint, what I recommend you do is you actually mix your tint and your concentrate together um, before adding the lotion. So what you're actually doing there is you, um, all those concentrated pigments, they're actually going to be evenly distributed into the tint. I love working with before any color and especially after doing a full set of highlights and applying the toner is working with my MAC um, Ultra Soft Leave-In um, conditioner. What this does, it doesn't only act like a conditioner, but it also um, can double up as a porosity equalizer. So it's really great. I apply it before every color, especially on those ends that might be a little bit more compromised. What this does just helps to really evenly color the hair. So those are just a few things to remember. And just bear in mind, if you ever need extra help with um, your color, those are a few tips that I just wanted to share with you.